synchronize your website database to constant contact. Today I'm going to show you some fundamental functions on how to communicate between your website database with your constant contact account. So you can see and handle most important content, constant contact sections from your web administration section. The main purpose of using constant contact is to efficiently communicate with your existing or potential customers. Those customer data are usually saved in your website database. Well, of course, you need a data-driven website, which has a membership function implemented in there. Let me run this application. It is a website-based uh, application using ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL database. Uh, the customer name, email address uh, uh, will be in the uh, SQL database. Here is the demo uh, version of the database. There are three sections here. One is remove constant. Uh, one is remove contacts from a contact list. We have a two list here, which is from a constant contact. Uh, we can see those from here, from constant contact. And the second section is upload contacts to contact list. That means we can upload uh, your your customer information, email name, back to your constant contact. The third one is get all contacts from constant contact. Sometimes you really want to know how many contacts in the constant contact and now what's the status for uh, each uh, email address uh, contact. Let's have a look at the constant contact. So I have a two list, general interest, list A. In list A we have a five contacts. I'm going to remove those five contacts not from here, remove from your website. Okay, it's a constant uh, contact removed from a contact list. Let's refresh the page. It might take a while if you have a lot of data need to be deleted, but if only uh, five or 10 should be uh, pretty quick. Okay, here list A, now it's become zero, it's empty. Now I'm going to add some contacts from my database to constant contact. Uh, here we have eight, um, but you can see the, this one is invalid. Email address, this was invalid, this one is invalid. So we have three invalid and five valid uh, contacts. This is the list A. I'm going to update. So it's telling me there are three invalid and uh, five will be valid in um, uploaded to constant contact. Let's have a look. Again, it might take a while to to be seen uh, from co your constant contact. Your contact contact list counts are being updated. Okay, let's wait. While we are waiting, uh, we can see those activities. Uh, this is the one uh, we just uh, did the, op uh, the upload. So you can see those information uh, which uh, is provided from uh, constant con contact. We can get those information and show uh, in your website. So right now it's pending. Okay, let me uh, refresh it, see if that works. Okay, now the status become complete. Let's see how many, well, here shows five. Let's double check. All right, list A, we can see those five contacts. The last section, get all contacts from constant contact.